Hello. Mm. Uh, this is Shadow Blazer uh, 13 um, from the Blaze Boot uh, Cross Tech Tournament uh, group slash Guilty Gear and other tournaments at this point. Um, so this is a Guilty Gear Strive podcast hosted by myself. Um, we have Harman Canada joining us today, Dragon Wrath. Um, as well, Korbak and Dumantis. So I have a list of topics uh, that we're going to discuss. Um, usually I would start with the topics as an opener, but I'm actually going to pass it to uh, Harbank Canada as he has something of uh, interest to show us. So Canada, I will let like you... Grand, no, no. So are you able to see my share screen? Yeah. Yep. yeah. So today I played Git to Gear Strive and this is what happened. I was shocked. It's the first time in my life that that happened to me in this game. I am May, and then my opponent was Potenkin. I know Potenkin by heart, so I knew he was going to do that, but just look. <laughs> yeah, but I um, didn't even show whether he blocked or what. It just showed the world coming out, and that was it. So it's like, I guess he blocked it. Oh, it's a double, double KO. Damn. Double oh, KO. Wow. <laughs> because Potenkin has super armor on it. And, and that I, I can tell what he hit with. No, I, saw so. I knew he was charging at me, and I had one HP. So I knew that I was going to die. So Actually, I, no, no he didn't even charge at you. He didn't even charge at you. He just straight up did that little um. Just go uh, to the end again, kind of slap. He just did no, that no. one-handed slap to you. Wait, wait, go like, to the end again. No, on my end, it was the charge. <laughs> oh, was it? Yes, that's oh, that's sure his is. charge. Okay, okay. Well, the frame's acting weird on my screen. Okay. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> that's so. <laughs> that's a double knockout can happen. <laughs> I have. I and think it has to end it in a draw. That's actually even rarer to get. Yeah, you got I a draw. I haven't seen one yet. Yeah, you, yeah. you actually. Nice. Yeah, you and the other guy ended that fight in a draw. So that yes. was that. That's very rare for that to happen. Well, that almost happened between him and Zaka the first time. It, yeah, that almost happened. <laughs> the closest I got to it was like a double yeah. KO, but what I never actually got a draw. Today? Wow, that's so because weird. Because I was down. I knew. Oh God, I I know how a potential player think. I knew. He's, he saw that I had one HP. I knew he's going to do his charge attack. So mm -hmm. even if I block or not, I, I would have died because I had the one HP. Even yeah, I, so no, you could have done that. Uh, no, you could have done that special block. You could have done a special block. block yeah. get I would have yeah, died. I know for thank you. Super so block. He would have grabbed me up the up the wall. Yeah, yeah, that does. Yeah, that is a good point. So I know how for can film. I would have died no matter what I do with me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If, one, if with Ram, maybe, but with me, in that situation, I would have died. So I had no option. So yeah. if I die, I bring you with me, the volcano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but wait, a funny way to end the match. So I guess that can kind of segue into the first topic, really, uh, which is pretty much your general thoughts on the game and your time with it so far. Um, I suppose... Will I go first for this one, and then Doom, and then Dragon, and then Korback, and then Canada? We just go in the order of the participant yes. list? I'm fine with, I'm fine with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, fine, I'm fine with whatever. Uh, right, so I kind of need to be very kind of limited, because a lot of the stuff I want to say kind of ties into the topics. But generally speaking, I really like the game so far. Um, I'm really liking the, the, the fighting systems that they brought in, and kind of... You know, the animation, the style of the game, the music is absolutely phenomenal. The characters I find are, are you know, really fun to use as well. D easier, though, the game is much easier to get into compared to XArt. Um, I found myself that, like really... That was their that plan to make um, Guilty Gear yeah, Strive yeah. a bit more acceptable to, to newer players. Yeah, which... In this, mm, I mean, I've heard rumblings among the community for the last couple of weeks about that kind of, you know, is it too easy to get into? Is it too casual friendly? Um, you know. I don't feel like it is. No, I don't know. I, you know I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50. Like, like, if it's an easy to easy to learn but a hard to master system, that's fine. Yes. But I, I, think, I think the floor There's system, the mission mode where it kind of teaches yeah. you the insides of how the game works. Like, like the Rome, like the various versions of the Roman cancel, yeah, the, the wall splat and break and all that, and even yeah, various yeah. combos for the characters. So, mm. I think it. I to me, like to me, the game is like the, the game's fun, and 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 for for like the talk with like people saying of like of like if it's too easy on the game, mm. I don't think so. Like, yes, the game is is more foot is is in the more footsie type of game rather than kind of more air. Air raid combo like, 
But it's not like, say, like Street Fighter Five, where it's like strictly a footsie type of game. To me, right. I, I feel like I feel like Guilty Gear Strive still has its own identity with its own series of like able to do stuff in the air and here and there. Okay, not as much, but it's there. It still has yeah. it. It still feels more freedom. More it's freedom faster than as well. Like, yeah, it's faster too. Which I actually think is one of my favorite things about it, because I do, I did enjoy XR. I just found it to be a bit slow at times, whereas I prefer a faster-paced fighting games. So th- maybe that's just down to like a personal preference. But Dragon, what's your kind of like um, general thoughts of the game and kind of your impression of it so far? Um, for me, I would say I'm pretty much like y'all. I mean, I mostly enjoy it. I wouldn't say I have any real qualms about the general games mechanics or anything about the game's generalness um i find it pretty fun i think the, that's just fine well when you get matches to start <laughs> um because getting them to start is still sometimes a bit iffy but yeah, better than what the beta was um but yeah uh overall i think it's fine i don't think there's anything really wrong with it i mean i can kind of see why people might say that that's a feel that way about it but as a person who's played Guilty Gear, like regular Guilty Gear X from the PS2 older days and have played it from the beginning of its series, ah, no, I don't really feel like it's all, I feel like it's fine the way it is. I don't feel like there's anything really wrong with it per se. Okay. Um, Korbak, do you want to, do you have anything kind of like, what's your experiences with the game so far? Because you're on PC, right? So you'd yeah. actually be different to us. So I might actually kind of add on just a small little thing. Like, what's the PC experience been like? Um, yeah, so um, I'm not um, uh, an expert at uh, fighting games. So um, for me, uh, some uh, some game <laughs> that is uh, uh, way too complex to to play uh, is uh, generally not fun for me. And um, guilty the Guilty Gear series, I didn't like it uh, at first, like uh, the first game, like uh, Guilty Gear X. I played uh, Guilty Gear XX and I started to like it. Uh, then uh, it's third. Uh, I really liked uh, Elfelt. Uh, but uh, th- those were not uh, games that uh, I played a lot because uh, uh, I liked uh, other games better. But uh, this one is actually... Uh, uh, I, I, I like this game so much that uh, it entered in my uh, top uh, 10 uh, best uh, fighting games. Uh, I saw that video. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. It's actually my sixth uh, uh, fav- most favorite uh, fighting games uh, ever. And uh, yeah, for, for my part, uh, I think um, the game is uh, pretty uh, easy to, uh, to enter, even for... Uh, people like me that are not experts at uh, fighting games. And I think uh, that's a good thing to um, to let people uh, enjoy uh, fighting games. And uh, mm-hmm. in my case, I'm really, uh, I'm uh, mostly playing uh, on um, uh, competitive mode. And uh, I already uh, 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 reached uh, the floor, ni- floor nine at some nice. point. Damn. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> now, now I'm at floor uh, eight again. But <laughs> yes, uh, I reached the floor, floor floor nine uh, at some point. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the game. I don't play uh, every day, but uh, sometime I play like uh, two, three hours, uh, and uh, yeah, it's a really fun experience. So, uh, Canada, do you uh, have any kind of thoughts and opinions on the game? Yes. Uh, actually, just to kind of mention, you did a review of the game as well. Yeah. Has so, if, if you don't mind me adding on just a little bit, kind of to, to this, has your kind of opinion, or rather your impressions, kind of stayed the same? Has it changed for good or or worse? In that sense, from your initial review. Yeah, for for my initial re- review, my opinion have changed, have stayed that have stayed the same. But I just okay. remember that this one uh, crucial element that I forgot to to, to tell everyone on my review, but. For more the Guilty Gear game that I played in my life, this one is the best. And, and then, in my opinion, Guilty Gear Strive is the slowest Guilty Gear game. Really? 
<laughs> yeah, actually, I kind of have to agree with that because, yeah, I feel like they were faster, at least the very first one. Because yeah. seriously, like, I could pull so much chain continuing wacky things with Bridget and a lot of the characters in the very first one. And you had to generate a lot, a lot of combos on somebody to kill them. Mm. So you had to do a lot of combo bashing and just, you had to really beat down your opponent in that one. For, for more of the Gitty Gear, Gear game that I play, Gitty Gear Strike is a serious Gitty Gear game. And then uh, I prefer it that way because I have time to, I have a lot of time to react. So I enjoyed the, the, the game even more. I, I like I like playing Grapplers, but in the older Gear the Gear game, Potenkin is bad. Even if he's very strong, he's bad because he was so slow that against anyone was faster than him, he was at a different yeah. advantage. Yeah, I found that in XR too. I I did try him in in Rev, and I was just like, no, nah, he's, he's too slow. slow. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, yeah. He cannot jump. Whoa! I mean, see, yeah, cannot, the very, yeah, the very first one. He was so. Oh God! He. Oh, I that mean, poor dude. <laughs> very strong. To be good with Potenkin, you need like three hundred hour, and you need to be. You need to always read, unless you can read your opponent's mind. Playing Potenkin, Potenkin in that is bad because he was so slow compared to the other one. But in game yeah. five, for the first time in my life, I played Potenkin, and I played him good because. Uh, like the level the playing field for Potenkin because it is not as fast. So with Potenkin, uh, you, you have the great tool to, to defend himself. He, he can do his earthquake. Uh, 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 it's, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a good way to set up. You can do so much setup. And earthquake has super armor. He can do his new move, Garuda Impact. It is an unblockable attack. Uh, and then the, the other thing that I love the tower system for the competitive mode. Yeah, it really, it really does kind of like freshen the experience. And the one thing that I kind of do love with it myself, just to add on as well, is that like you can tell, you can feel the difficulty as you go up. Yes. Yeah, like, that's one thing. All I the really players love. you fight against. Yeah, 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 definitely for sure. Like mm -hmm. I, because I got to nine as well. Right now, up to eight, I was doing relatively well. I got to nine and I got schooled. Completely just uh -oh. <laughs> the same experience. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh, back down, <laughs> go back down to eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the clip I showed you earlier it was uh, on floor ten. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, because uh, uh, when I play Potenkin in my, I can go up to floor ten, and sometimes uh -huh. the secret floor floor eleven. But when I switch other characters, the disadvantage is. Like I'm floor 10, if I choose Giovanna or Ram Lethal, I'm not as good, I'm not a floor 10 level with my other characters. I'm a beginner level starting at floor 10 with a character that I'm training. So do you see? So it's like yeah. I get my ass kicked at the <laughs> oh, go on. One thing to change is that I would prefer that the floor system is not based on your profile, uh, but based on your character. For example, if I use Potenkin and my, I can go to floor 10 or floor 11. And then with the other character, if I choose for the first time, I will start at floor 1, for example. Yeah, yeah. Like they were, yeah, yeah they I can see that. Yeah, they each had their own. I can see that.